I saw this product on Chart Tank the other week. It's Phil and Manila Banana Ketchup. And I'm gonna try this in a second, but first I just wanna share with you this really interesting rabbit hole I went down when I searched when and how banana ketchup was developed. So this is Maria Rosa. She was a food scientist in the Philippines and she is the inventor of banana ketchup. When Americans colonized the Philippines in 1898, they introduced tomato ketchup. It became a very popular condiment. However, it was very expensive to import and tomatoes didn't grow very well in the Philippines. So in the 1930s, Maria made a version with local bananas instead of tomatoes. It was then first mass produced in 1942. Maria was born in the Philippines in 1893. In 1916, when she was 23, she came to the U.S. as a government-sponsored scholar and got her bachelor's and master's degrees in chemistry and pharmaceutical science. She worked in the food lab at the University of Washington, Seattle's School of Pharmacy. During the summer, she worked at fish canneries in Alaska, learning skills that would become very useful later on. She was offered a job as an assistant chemist for the state of Washington. However, she turned that down to return to the Philippines to help them become self-sufficient in food production. She developed local methods of canning fruit and also developed the Paliak oven, and I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, so feel free to correct me on that, but that was an oven that can be used without electricity. She joined a resistance movement in 1941 when Japan invaded and occupied the Philippines. She held the rank as captain there and began inventing nutrient-dense foods to feed local fighters. One of her inventions was this drink, Soylac, which was made from soybeans and other local ingredients. She organized a system for smuggling these life-saving foods to detainees in the Santo Tomas internment camp. More than 4,000 civilians, most of them Americans, were being held here. On February 3rd, 1945, the Battle of Manila began. And while American forces were helping to retake the city from the Japanese, Maria was working in her lab. On the way to the bomb shelter with her staff, Maria was hit by shrapnel. She was taken to the hospital, and on February 13th, 1945, at the age of 51, she was killed along with over 400 others when an American bomb landed on the hospital. Maria has received several honors for her work, including having a street in Manila named after her. After her death, she was also awarded a medal for her service by the American National Red Cross. So that's the origin story of banana ketchup and a little more about the person that invented it. I don't have anything prepared to try this on, so I'm just gonna try it by itself. That actually smells a lot like ketchup. I was expecting it to smell very banana forward, which it does not, so I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Very tangy. It honestly tastes more like ketchup than I thought it would. I'm not sure I would know this is made from bananas if I didn't already know that, which is pleasantly surprising. I'm definitely gonna be using this in place of ketchup. It's really good. 